Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. This is the app of T the Diddy D. And I have some housewives news and some quick little Ashante and Nelly news. Uh, <laughs> how you doing in honor of Mother Wendy? Everything I say is alleged in my opinion. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell button so you can be notified when I pull out hot tea. And, and, this is fair use commentary <laughs> and the Copyright Act 1976 says I can use this information as long as I have the research and I'm using it for research purposes to deliver you the tea. Now, <laughs> let's start with Ashanti and Nelly. Just quick little tea, get that out the way. Congrats, you. Alicia's. I thought it would have been me. Yeah, I used to have a super, 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 super big crush on Nelly. Allegedly, um, she's been running around talking about they were engaged. She had a pregnancy. No way you could have that pregnancy. Ashanti, your pregnancy was all in your face, girl. <laughs> so, it was no need for you to say, I'm waiting on everybody to make an announcement. Girl, we could take it. But anyway, congratulations to the couple. Allegedly, they're already married. However, we do know that he has a little small stain on him because of the alleged eight ch charges from back in the day. And you know, I don't have a whole a lot, a lot, a lot of respect for men who do that. However, they uh, have kept that under wraps very well. And cause the public to kind of forget about it. But I have not. <laughs> so. If Ashanti wants to pull a Nicki Minaj. And marry somebody that was accused of. You know the R.A.P.E. That's her life to live. I ain't living it for. I ain't want to gossip. So you didn't hear from me. More information that I'm not wanting to gossip about. <laughs> Miss Kenya Moore. Have mercy, Kenya. You know, I'm trying to stick beside you, girl. <laughs> I am trying to stick beside you. Because I'm team twirl. But the word on the street is, and the word came from Really Big TV. If you don't believe me, you can go check out her video. She did say that we could use her information. Because she said she put it out there. She's like, if y'all hear this. I got this from a, a, a reliable source. I haven't heard anybody else reporting it besides Really B, but she did say that she was, you know, putting it out there for the masses and we could use it if we would like to, if we were content creators. But she was really talking about her friend's child. She wasn't talking about me. But I am a long-time subscriber, and they don't seem to notice that I am indeed a content creator. So, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to bring you the tea anyway. Allegedly, 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 allegedly. Remember, everything is alleged. So, here we go. Allegedly, the reason why Kenya was after Brit is because she was messing around with that good mark. Allegedly, that is indeed the woman who Kenya was talking about trying to stop Kenya from marrying Mark because of. Because you remember, Kenya and Candy are really close. And apparently, Kenya, not, uh, Kenya did not listen to her and she married Mark anyway. But remember, Candy has her nose to the streets. <laughs> and she's at Atlanta all day, baby, all day. So. Therefore, she knows a lot. She knew Latoya's business. <laughs> she knew Portia's business. And she knew that Simon Goobada yeah, 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 had scarmities in the background. So we can always count on that good candy to know what's happening in those Atlanta streets. She tried to tell each and every one of her girls. Even after Portia had the ape 
charges against her on season nine. Everybody knows about that, about the dungeon. And she warned her about Dennis anyway. Comes out, she was right about Dennis. Comes out, she, she was right about Simon Gabadi, yada, 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 yada. And she may, at this time, may just be right about Miss Britt. Also, the reason why, because I reported, if you go back and look in my shorts, I got a short um, of Mr. Mark Daly crying like the marriage is over. I mean, he got, he's got tears coming out of his eyes and everything. And um, with those tears, I'm like, it's done. It's over with. Because it was reported, I think, maybe like in November-ish. Anyway, go back and look at my short. That the marriage was done. Well, in this last live that Kenya did, she said they were still married, still going through the divorce. And according to Really B's great source, who has been right about Kenya so far, Let's go ahead and say really be sources are great as this now. They have been right about Kenya and Kenya's information. So just use really be the great source. According to the great source that really be has, um, that baby was a payment to Mark to give her a child. Let me say this again. Allegedly, Kenya paid Mark to get her pregnant. Now, I guess she didn't want to have the baby with the sperm and the cook for the $5 pieces so she could have a baby, <laughs> according to Maurice and Miss Faith Park. Now, we all know that I don't like that disgusting read ejaculated in a cup, so you could have a baby. Now check that uh, child, please. That was so rehearsed and so and nobody ever talks about how she flubbed during that read, right? Can you don't flub during her read? <laughs> okay. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Allegedly, allegedly, Britt is one of my desserts. Uh and Kenya is planning on suing a whole a lot of people. Including the production team, allegedly. And, uh, hey, I can see it. I mean, because the production team allegedly knew that Kenya had a big surprise and they knew what it was. <laughs> but, you know, allegedly they knew that she was coming with a big surprise and they were trying to cut away and um, get. Uh, to get her off of the the um, camera real quick, but they didn't do it soon enough, you know, when she brought out the poster boards, allegedly. Now, again, if that poster board did not show any act of her performing the act, I'm still going to ride with that's not revenge porn, in my opinion. But, hey, it's not looking good for my girl at this point. Apologize. On um, one little bit of that um, Kenya information, I'm glad I went back and looked at really be, looked at really be video. She said that she was suing Michelle A. T. Ellen and Brown. Um. Now. A lot of people don't feel like the A.T. Ellingen, Doodle Brown, um, misrepresented anything. She was invited. The invitation was rescinded. And she used her own footage to capture Brett and all the people leaving. They didn't know she, Everybody was leaving, y'all. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know. You know, I was leaving. They were leaving. And all of it. Girl, you see, the way she delivers information, to me, she is almost like one step below Tasha K. Because, you know, it, it takes a lot for me to listen to Michelle. 
And I always have to give it to, um, just like with Tisha from The Real Housewives. I mean, I'm sorry, from uh, Love Mary Huntsville. I don't ever um, discredit people for continuing to keep the southern dialect of the southern accent. Because remember, I gave you a little bit of history when I was watching the uh, Bell Collective. Is that don't ever be ashamed of your southern sound because for the simple fact that it is next to the queen's english you can look that up it's the facts <laughs> the way when the south was being developed and becoming a country in america most of the british settlers were from the south whereas on the east coast they have so many dialects because when the when um, the East Coast was being developed, most of those sellers uh, was from various countries. So it's not the dialect. So don't get me wrong on that. Um, it's just that when you're recording and you try to sound, <laughs> you know, kind of. What am I trying to say? Not professional. <laughs> you don't. You shouldn't have to overdo it like Tamara Sheree. <laughs> or you shouldn't underdo it like Letitia. It's, it's a way that you can do it and then present yourself in a way that you don't sound like you straight off a plantation. I put it that way. <laughs> And um, I just don't like Doodle Brown, just just keeping it real. Because, um, like I said, a lot of times she, she, I think it's because she inserts her. Well, we all do that as commentators. We insert our personal opinion. But it seems like to me she has an all in all, in all attack against Kenya and uh, Candy. And it doesn't seem like. She's just reporting. It seems like she has some personal agenda agenda against them. Now, a lot of people are saying that um, Kenya is jealous of Brit. Maybe so, now that we find out she is allegedly having an affair. She was allegedly having an affair with her husband. But uh, looks, you better get back. <laughs> get back. Get back. And as I said on Twitter, what does she have to be jealous of in the looks department? She's jealous of the pretty girl. Not Eva. She hangs with Eva. She's still friends with Eva. Miss Cynthia. Miss Cheekbone. Candy ain't no dog. Are y'all serious? She don't have anything to be jealous of with people in the looks department because she right up there with them. <laughs> okay. Don't ever try to talk about her being jealous of in looks because baby girl... Baby girl face card don't decline ever since 1999. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep that 100 and 10. So, if she was messing with Mark and they were still married, what's she supposed to do? They knew what she was, they were bringing her on the show for. To rather her feathers, knowing that this woman had had an alleged affair with her husband. So she's supposed to be kind and nice to her? Is Portia kind and nice to Fallon? No, ma'am. Portia is not kind and nice to Fallon. And she took her husband, her Hennessy, and her hookah down by the pool. And it was the other way around. So you think somebody who suspects that the husband was having an affair with this woman, you think she's going to be buddy, buddy, buddy with her? Child, bye. It don't even make sense. Well, the other housewife, dude, that damn beatnik, a.k.a. Monique Samuels, that crawled out from under her rock. Or however long, it Her is use commentary. This is from Jay's reality really blog. Number one, let me let me back up and just say that I didn't realize that the trailer was like NBC Universal. I don't watch TV. So when the opportunity came about, 
my manager reached out and was like, hey, yeah, she said she don't watch TV, like, but what is it? Um, mm -hmm. Oh, it's like a competition challenge kind of show. And, you know, like Fear Factor meets Mind Games. And this Big and Nick Samuel like, will still so laugh. Like, oh, I'm interested. Put <laughs> my name in it. So then I started watching all the old episodes. Then I realized, like, oh, this is NBC Universal. Oh, they have Housewives on here. Oh, okay. This is interesting. Um, interesting. But then, but then still I was down. So uh, I heard that they wanted me to be on the show. I said, okay, let's do it. We started talking numbers. I was like, you know, for me to go away for that period of time, I need to make sure the money's good. And I also need to make sure, because I have children, I have three kids, and I have a home, and I have a dog, and I have a parent. Um, so I'm like, I got to make sure parent. that it makes sense for me to leave my job for a whole month or however long. It needs to make sense, right? So that was one concern. Then you know how it is with reality TV stuff. It is always last minute. You know, they act like you don't have a life outside of whatever it is they're trying to do. And I just was like, you know what? They're taking too long. If they don't come back with something really soon and respond to whatever, um, you know, raising their offer and give me some better numbers, then I'm not going to be able to do it. And that's pretty much what happened. But then on the back end, I heard about some shady stuff that was going on. So apparently they were trying to put me and Candace from RHOP on the traders at the same time. Now, if you know anything about the show, allegedly, we're not supposed to know who the traders are, right? So how did she know that she was going to be a trader? But that's neither here nor there. This is Big Nick, doing what Big Nick does best. I didn't know that she was pregnant. I didn't know that she was supposed to be on the show. And the only reason that I found out is because my manager is well connected started finding out all of this stuff and i'm like first of all that's low down to try to put a pregnant woman in that position that's jacked up number one. Second of all i don't even know why a person that's pregnant would even dig at candace girl bye candace probably signed up before she found out she was pregnant yes she had been trying to get pregnant but clearly candace being the smart woman she is she definitely backed out because of her pregnancy. So I'm going to put two and two together, Miss Big Nick idiot, and say that Candace probably didn't know she was pregnant when she signed up. Duh. Do that show or want to do that show because it's a lot of physical challenges and stuff in there. So I thought that was weird. Um, but regardless, I'm like, why would you try to take something from a totally different show and try to make it something that could potentially be very nasty. When I watched the first and second season of The Traders, and I watched the other Traders, like Traders UK, all of that, it wasn't about their personal lives. It was more about um, just the show in itself. And if you get picked as a traitor, and if you're faithful, and all of that. And I thought that was so much. Quit trying to make Monique happen. Guys, Monique is not entertaining. And everybody's big up in her for this little blurb here. When we all know that this chick is boring as up. And she couldn't hold her own show. Had a whole own show. Then she says that... Go, uh, let me go ahead and finish playing this. I actually was really excited about the, uh, the opportunity and being able to do the show. Um, but... Once I started finding out all of the shady shenanigans that were, and they couldn't afford me. Excuse so I me, I was like, filming from my other this. phone, and, then once and I, I got, got a call on it. That was going on, I was like, you know what? Let them know that I decline not only this season but every other season. Like I'm not doing it at all now because now you turned me off, and that is what you call boundaries, and that's what I now have. They couldn't afford that. her. I love that I don't have to do stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't feel obligated to do anything that I'm not excited about. So that took the excitement away because it was almost like y'all were trying to be shady and set things up um, in a way that was just like, because when you get there, you don't know who else is going to be there until you land. Um, so I thought that was really like low down, especially because everybody knows that that situation is very sensitive. And I highly doubt that if it was two white women that from, from another like housewife show, I highly doubt that they would put them in that position. So you ain't going to be doing us black queens like that. Like, I don't care whatever they think might have happened behind the scenes or in front of the scenes when it came to that situation. That's what I'm not about to do. 
Not at this day and age. They cheated white queens against each other. She said she watched the show. Black women on TV looking crazy. Not at my, not on my camera and uh, Sheree <laughs> was against each other. And that's actually what went down. They so had different like alliances, if my memory served me correctly. Number one, they couldn't afford me. And number two, um, they was not. And, and uh, I got a text message. And, um, it would have been really cool because I do like of course, stuff like. I do like stuff like you that. know. Like I, love, I do. Like, if Tamara and Sheree like, weren't against like, each other, uh, for Housewives, you know, so shit, I that was uh, like, definitely Phaedra was, was against you know, people because she was a traitor. So, I don't deal with the mess. So they, if they still ain't figured it out, they're going to find out now. So, yeah. But here's what happened. With... Okay, that was about to play over. Let, let me give me my, uh, my full analysis on Big Nick Samuel. Uh, this is why I stopped liking her long before she had attacked Candace for no reason, in my opinion. Because it seems like, and she admitted that she's one of those people that would do anything to belong. They couldn't afford her, right? And when I say do anything to belong, that's what I mean, but she lies so much. And it, it's a turn off to the viewer. If you really can analyze this lady, she clearly could be afforded because we all know that according to Winter, shout out to Winter from DC, her castmate, Carlos King, even with her starting her new show, was only paying her about $2,500 to $3,000. Now, we all know the trader was probably paying more than that. And then if you win and they don't find out you're a traitor, you get what's in the pot. Did you watch the show? You said you did. Had you won and they never figured out you was a traitor, you would have got, I mean, what is it, close to a million dollars or whatever the pot they build up. So they could afford you. Not pin black queens against each other. You allowed them to pit black queens against each other when you beat up Candace for no reason. <laughs> You mean now you don't want them to pit black queens against each other? Girl, back. This is a whole fool. And like I said, this is why I, a lot of people think that, you know, when they start picking sides, the spin that Monique was doing prior to her beating the mess out of Candace. <laughs> on every platform every platform now I could not understand why she was saying that she beat her up and the fight happened even though Candace had warned her through Karen that um they were plotting against her and she still ended up being cool with uh Giselle. So we're talking about a true hypocrite here. Of the of the biggest one. And it's one thing about me, I do not personally like hypocrites. Okay? Then she made Candace look bad in the press and before the show even aired, people thought that Candace had started the fight. Right? If I'm not mistaken. And then you have her fans out here gassing her ass up, <laughs> knowing that she's a liar, knowing that she had that fight with Candace, and they still hold, they are still holding on to the fact, or what they consider a fact, that Candace started the fight, and that she was culpable of the way. They were arguing, period. And you know, Dr. on where little old tiny Candace was not being serious. But she said, drag me, Monique, drag me, Monique. Is that what y'all talking about? That she was being little, literal, literal about? She didn't think that idiot was going to go over, grab her by her hair, and start beating her in the head? Come on now. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. As I do, this has been your pipe of hot tea. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell button so you will be notified when I upload a video. And as I do when I close, I'm going to chalk them up. Deuces. I can't stand Monique.
Well, well, just as I was closing, mind my own business like I do, Really B dropped another video. And according to Really B, Michelle A.T. Ellingham Doodle Brown has stepped into the chat and told her that all of her information about Kenya and Brit and the whole triangle was indeed not true. However, I am going to ride with the video at the beginning. Just know that I covered myself and said everything was alleged, okay? And so it did really be. She never said that the affair actually factually happened. So it's not up to Doodle Brown to come in and tell um, Michelle a, uh, really B to stop you know, putting out her information on the rumor mill, and she don't. Some things that uh, we all report in, on the rumor mill come out to be true or have some validity to them, or sometimes, most of the time, never totally untrue. It's always a sprinkle of truth in all these rumors that come that are, that are coming out about Kenya in this situation on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But just know that Michelle has reached out to Really B. Now, Really B dropped some more tea. According to her, she said that Kenya has uh, been frozen. You know what I mean? She's put on ice. Sort of like in a way that Quad was on the Real uh, um, sorry, on Married to Medicine. Um, also, it said that, in which I thought that was going to happen. I had, anyway, let me finish before I was so rudely interrupted. The pharaohs are out for, for the summer. I just can't be great. Anyway, the point is that I knew they were going to tap, 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 tap Candy on the shoulder <laughs> and ask her to come back. I just had a feeling. I was like, all this stuff is going down with Candy, uh, Kenya and Candy, uh, they think that uh, Candy is their go-to. And she, remember, she was not terminated. She ch chose to leave. And um, Candy said, no, I got too many things going on. I, I'm having a good time with my family. She really she really said that. And, and she really understood that now she realizes how much time filming the Real Housewives was taken away from her family. Um, well, Ty did tell her, and now she's on Reasonable Doubt, child. Season two. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I miss Reasonable Doubt, but that's neither here nor there. So, well, of course, you know they had tap, 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 Sheree. I already reported that. But Sheree might have gotten some pride about herself and said no, too, because now they're looking at Kim. Kim goes, yeah. Y'all... The only way that I will watch this is if it is proven that Kenya didn't do what she did and will come back. Because it will be a cold day or a hot day in the wintertime in Minnesota before. Or Alaska, that's even better. It will be a hot day in the wintertime in Alaska <laughs> before I will want to see Kim Dossier back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I know she's desperate. I know that she's going through a divorce, and it's a very, very messy divorce. But the way she did those ladies on that uh, last reunion, reunion she was on, being the only white lady that'll be fool enough to film with a bunch of black women. Mm-mm, honey. Nope. I don't see it for Zosiac. Cigarette smoking, red solo cup, plumped up lips. Zosiac. I don't see it for her. No ma'am. No ma'am, pay. But these are the additions to the previous videos. Again, Michelle ACL and Brown has reached out to Really B saying that the information that she disseminated earlier was incorrect 
I don't disagree with really be on this one because for the simple fact, like I said, there is going to be some truth to these rumors and there's going to be sprinkles of untruths as well because for the simple fact that we don't 100% any of us that is reporting on what's going on with Kenya know what is going on, period. Especially since she came out and uh, did her little video and brought us the bush. Yeah. Okay. So that's neither here nor there. Again, I'm reporting um, what I heard from another uh, content creator. And that content creator normally uh, has good information. She's not salacious. She's not salacious. And she does not report uh, tea just to be reporting it to have exclusives and telling lies. Flat out lies. Like some other ones. <laughs> and you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, that's going to be it for this pipe and high tea. Again, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I know I already did the closing, but I had to come back in. Um, reality with D with D. And as I do when I close, I'm going to chunk them up. Deuces.